Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back once again with the Monport 40 watt laser. Friends, this thing is ready for light burn, and today we're going to try and make something for Christmas. So let's get cracking. Friends, we are going to start today's project in Tinkercad. I'm going to hit Designs, and I'm going to hit New 3D Design. The first thing I'm going to do is name this, so if I ever want it back, I can track it down. All we do is click and change the name. So this is going to be called tree. It's going to be a Christmas tree. Friends, as I mentioned above, we are going to make a Christmas tree. Watch this. If we rotate that 90 degrees, so it's standing on end, right now it is two centimeters at the base. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to stretch it to four. So where that said 44, I'm going to change it to 40 and it all snaps. I'm going to make it thinner just because I want to. And that's going to be the bottom of my tree. If we do control D and we nudge it forward, I don't want to go that far. So I was holding shift nudge. I'm going to go back to right about here. And now I'm going to do alt shift to shrink it about its middle. So it's going to get just a little smaller. When I'm happy, I let go. And if I do control D again and again, it makes my entire Christmas tree. I'm going to take each of these and I'm going to nudge them back just because I want it to be a little bit more sturdy. If I would have nudged perfectly the first time, it would have just been lined up. And then because I used Alt-Shift, you can see they each get thinner. So I'm going to real quickly set them all to size 4, and I'm going to show you why in a moment. Although really it wouldn't matter, I just want to. When we group this, because they all have the same height, they will not have, the resulting project won't have any seams. Let me just show you that. I'm gonna hit group right here. And you can see all those seams that are there in the middle are now gone for our awesome little ornament. I do wanna add a base. I'm gonna just do shift squeeze to shrink that down until I think it's the size I want. That looks pretty cool. Let's do a line. So I'm grabbing the two and I'm saying I want it to be to the middle. I'm going to use the arrow keys to move it down. And then I'm going to change that height once again to four. And when we press enter, we can group those. And I have now got my total design. I do want to cut a hole in the top. These are called holes. I'm going to hold down shift. I'm going to squeeze it down and I know I want mine to be four millimeters. Once again, I'm going to select the two of them and I'm going to choose a line. I'm going to pick the top of the tree, the center of the tree, click somewhere else, click on that hole and use the arrow key to move it down in. And when I group it, we have got a design that is ready for laser cutting. I'm going to hit export. We need the laser cutting SVG. I'm going to put this in my downloads folder. It's already called tree and I'm going to hit save. Alrighty friends. So as you can see, we have got the Mon port powered on. I'm going to hit the power switch. You can't really see it, but it's right here. If yours doesn't ever turn on, make sure you had not accidentally bumped the emergency stop. I think I hit that with my elbow and the other day she would not power on and it took me a couple seconds to track that down, but it was pretty simple after I did. Now friends on light burn, as you can see, I have got my tree loaded. If I use move, I can get this to where I want on the acrylic. I'm going to make sure I have current position for where I want to make this. And because of the way I'm using this acrylic, I'm going to go from the top left corner. This is as far as I can nudge vertically. So I'm going to bring the project lower so I can use my material a little more efficiently. And then let's real quickly hit frame just to see how that looks. Now this is that white acrylic with clear underneath. I have peeled it back. I've got the white on top. There's going to be a hole in this. I don't really care because it's just for practice. It is four millimeters thick. Let's check my cuts and layers. Right now I've got it for 201 pass. I'm going to instead change the speed to 300 so I have less flame ups. I'm going to tell it two passes and then I'm also going to tell you 
that you got to monitor your milliamps. I currently run it at about 5 milliamps with this. Once again, with any material, you do want to just use trial and error. Friends, I closed it. I'm grabbing my glasses. You can hear my dog Bailey barking in the background, but let's still cut a tiny Christmas ornament. As you can see today, we're not having any flame ups. Maybe getting rid of that paper was a brilliant choice. Alrighty friends, so let's see what we got. As you can see, it cut through absolutely perfect. Push through the little hole. Boom, out goes the hole and we have got an adorable little Christmas tree ornament. How cool is that? All right, everybody, so this was attempt one. Same design, obviously, but I had the material on top. It flamed up, and you can see it melted through here, so it wasn't quite as cool. I also had it at seven milliamps up here, and of course, I lowered it down. Here is the second one. As you can see, that turned out absolutely awesome. Everything peeled off the back just like you'd expect it to, and I am totally pleased. So friends, there you have it, a really fun, quick tutorial using Tinkercad and the Monport 40 watt laser. Now friends, this one has built in support for Lightburn, so that means we could also design in Lightburn. Make sure you stay tuned as I will be doing a Lightburn design coming up really soon. Of course friends, if you're interested in the laser, there will be links in the description. And if you enjoy the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, I always appreciate those comments down below as well and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day